Hey everyone, this is Eric, and I'm with bbstring.com. Right now, we're gonna look at how to how to make an input box. So this is how you do it. It's relatively easy. Uh, first, we have a sub procedure. Public, public sub new message. Well, I'm gonna call this public sub input box, just because. Well, talking about the input box, so uh, they call it the input box. And it doesn't really matter what name you give it with the sub procedure, but um, you give it something that uh, kind of that means something that you're doing. Where you define it that way. So first, I need a little message. Uh, S D R O dim dim sdr message as string that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, my output message and then I'm gonna have the result of whatever I type in my input box so so the sdr dm sdr input box text we'll just call that as string Okay, now it's where the, the meat of this thing comes in. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say SDR in. What is SDR input box? What is it? Well, right now it doesn't have anything. So SDR input box text. Notice that when I press enter, it automatically capitalizes itself because I already dimensioned these things, these variables. So I'm going to make the input box result equal to uh, application this is a, what's different input box that's it so because it's excel it needs to be called application dot input box and now the prompt is going to be enter uh, enter your your name your name so that's gonna be enter your name it's gonna be real simple and then I'm gonna have a message box that pops up with a uh, message box uh, message box as to your input input box text so it's gonna spit out what the name is so it's relatively easy this part right here is for the input box and this part spits out whatever my input box is so if I press F5 it's gonna say enter name my name is Eric so Eric is the name so if I want to go ahead and attach that now to a to a macro button now to make sure again this is the uh, the scope is public that's what it is so I can see it as a macro and then I'm gonna use this button that I've already already made it's called button 3 but I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it assign the macro now I'm gonna assign input box so when I click the input box it's telling me my name Eric Eric and then I go ahead and I get an Eric back so again it has there are lots of other other variables other arguments you could use like title etc and maybe i'll go ahead and put those in but this is your basic uh basic input box enter your name uh what if my name was joe okay joe and you could use the the variable for input box wherever you're and whatever you can assign it to a cell if you want and actually uh, just for grins I'm gonna put it put it right here at cell D11 so instead of having range gonna be uh, instead of having the message box pop up I'm gonna have range range D11 equals input box okay so that's easier so enter name 
my name's Eric, and then it pops up right here in the pops up right here. So you probably find a good use for that too in your applications. Uh, you, my name. What if it, if your name was Cecilia? I think that's the name. Then it's substitutes. So anyway, that's how you create the input box, and I'm here and have a great, great day. To see more of these. Come to vbastream.com. Thanks, bye. All right, everybody. Yeah, uh, just real quickly, I'm gonna go over some of the advanced things of the input box. We have uh, on the input box itself, we have a. What if you want? To, well, we have just a basic input box here. What if you want to control the title? Well, uh, we can go ahead and do that by going up here to this and using the Genesis to find out where the next argument is. Application.input box, enter your name. So we have prompt that string the title. And then we have the title being uh, your name. Let's just call it name. Now I go over here and now it's saying name. Okay, next. I'm going ahead and we're seeing what what about the default? Well the default value is whatever's in this here box right here. So I'm going to plug in the box the default name like your uh, like the name. Enter, enter, name. Now when I click the button, I'm getting an enter name here. That's a, that's kind of an indication to the user to enter their name. Now I want to go ahead and type in the name, uh, let's say Luis. If that's one of your people's names. Again, that's uh, that gives a good indication of what to do. Again, thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you soon.